You can see that one of the legs is longer than the other. That means it's a positive terminal, and that's the side that you need to make sure receives a positive voltage. What I'm going to use for this is a breadboard. And if you don't know how a breadboard works, it's very simple. If we plug in power on the columns, then that positive power is shared all the way down, and then the negative is separately shared all the way down its column. So it's very easy for us to plug in power and then use it as we need. And then over here, we have our rows where our components will go, like our LED. So let's look at our LED, and we can identify the long side as the left side. I'm going to put that into row 5. <coughs> so this plugs into row 5, and the negative probe, or the short probe, is in row 7. So all we need to do now is make sure that we bring power from the power rail into row 5, and negative from the power rail into row seven, and it should turn on. However, one thing we need to be careful of is when we plug in raw power to an LED, it could burn out. So what we need to use is a resistor, which looks like this, which will just bring the power level down to a level that the LED can handle or that it's expecting. So I'm gonna plug in from our positive rail to row five, so this will pull power from the positive into the resistor onto row 5, which is connected, all of them, and then go up the LED and then out the short uh, pin, which is a negative, into row 7. So now all we need to do is make sure that row 7 has a way to get back to ground. I'm going to use this blue cable to do that. So if we plug into row 7 and then we plug in the other side into any one of these ground connections here. Then we should have a circuit. Let me zoom out a bit. <clears throat> so now all we have to do is power this up and it should work. So I'm gonna plug in power on this side first and then I'm gonna plug into my power supply. So those two are in, and now I'm gonna plug into my three volt power supply. So positive goes in, and negative. And we can see that the LED is illuminated. So what's happening here is power is coming in from the power rail, three volts, it's connected, all this red line is three volts, and we're taking some of those three volts through our resistor and taking it to row five, where the LED then is plugged in on the long terminal and it's going up into the LED and then out the negative terminal into row seven. So all of row seven, we could say is a negative terminal or connected to the negative terminal of the LED. And then it's going out our cable to ground. And if we were to disrupt any one of these connections, this would not work. Obviously, if we disconnect our power, it won't work. If we disconnect our resistor, it won't work because there's no circuit. And if we disconnect our ground as we saw earlier, or we didn't see that earlier, then it won't work. So this is a simple LED circuit, and this is a building block, I would say, for all sorts of future projects. I used a 1000 ohm resistor in this video, also called a 1K resistor. You can see it here on the left. This is one without the legs cut. And they come like this, in a little band, sort of, where you just kind of tear them out and use them. This is a brand uh, that I was using, but any 1000 ohm resistor will work for this. Even different values will work. I wouldn't go below uh, 100 ohm, though, if you're using 3 volts like me. The LEDs themselves are expecting 20 milliamps and 2 to 2.2 volts. I'm using 3 volts, but it seems to be working okay for me so far uh, as I learn electronics. Uh, which I do film live. So if you wanted to see somebody else learning electronics, a beginner, then check out uh, some of the other videos where I just kind of live record as I'm learning. So there are longer videos, there are slower videos, but if you're trying to learn along with someone at a slower pace, then they might be really good for you. But next up on this series, I'll probably uh, see how we can connect a button to this LED so that it's not always on, only when we click a button. So perhaps that will be next.